welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new so for today's video we are starting off strong we are trying to get our finances together and stuff like that's why you guys have to click this video because you want to figure out how to get your finances together um i'm still learning that myself i'm still struggling on how to figure all of that out exactly right now i have completed a little list in my mind so i started out writing just a rough budget for 2020 what i wanted to get done this year i had some goals i wanted to get an apartment i want to get a new car I want to get an iPad and I want to get an iPhone. After knowing what goals I wanted to reach, I started to go through every single expense I would have, bill or otherwise, and every single month up until December 2021, figuring out what payments I would need to make. So the payments that I have going on right now is Netflix, Verizon, Amazon Prime, Grammarly, and a shreddy payment, which is the app that I use to work out on. Um, there's a video coming out on that too if you guys want to watch it. Um after figuring out what payments I needed to make and the amount of each, I calculated those up in my calculator, noting it was a total of $530. And then from June 2020 to December 2021, I figured out how many payments of each I would be making, figuring out that it was around $4,000 in total. Going back to my goals, I noted that I would need $20,000 in order to even have a good apartment. So I crossed out my new car, iPad, and my new phone. And then I have other expenses that I have reoccurring every month, which is grocery shopping. I usually try to spend only $30 on grocery shopping and I have a pretty compact list. If you guys like wanna go grocery shopping with me, that is a video coming out soon. So you guys will see exactly what I get and how I shop during a pandemic. And in general, I don't really like to spend a lot of money on food, but I do like try to get nutritious food to eat and not just random food. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, the next thing I usually spend my money on, what I wanna get for my car are floor mats, but those are around $500 and I'm trying to consider like, do I really wanna move my carpet in my car or do I wanna just get this one-time payment of $500 and protect my car for the amount of time that I have it. The other thing that's a recurrent payment is hair care products and skincare products. Now that is something that I try to get every two months and that's about $200 a pop there, especially for my hair, that stuff gets expensive. Skincare can get pretty expensive, but there are some cheap skincare products that I really wanna try out. So I'll try and make a video on some budget-friendly skincare products and budget-friendly hair care products. So if you guys want those, leave those down below. And also clothes. Like I love going shopping. I love shopping for new clothes. I work in a retail store, so of course I'm gonna shop. Um, but I don't, clothes are very expensive. In the place that I work, the clothes there are pretty expensive. So for my style, I have a very strange style that I can't really wear yet, but I will wear it when I'm out of this house. How about that? Yeah. Um, but for clothes, I'm trying to spend a max of $100 every two months again for the um, split of hair, skin, and uh, clothes. So for hair, skin, 200, and for clothes, 100. Going back in again, I multiplied how many months this would go on. So for $30 a trip per trip, it would be four times a month, times 18 months, and so on and so forth. And I figured out it would be around $7,000. Um, and then I have only two sources of income right now and the other source is financial aid, which is gonna cut out when I graduate. Um, and then I probably start work in my retail job. I wanna say by the end of the month, but that isn't looking too good right now. So it could be end of the month, it could be end of the year. I don't know when I go back to work. So that is the income with me right now. I have two sources one source isn't very dependable so i only have one source of income right now which is fine i'm only 18 i live in a house so and i don't pay any any bills but i'm still trying to save my money so pray for me guys so and then after i finished writing down like a rough outline of my budget i created a spreadsheet it has every single month from july 2020 to december 2021 um it has payments that i need to make for those months it has goals that I intend to reach. It has um, the expected expenses and the actual expenses. Cause you know how you expect to spend this much money but then you actually spend this much money. I have the intended expenses and then I have the actual expenses. Um, and then I have income that comes in that month cause sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. My income fluctuates so <sighs> we're working on it guys. 
Going back to my calendar, I would go back and forth between each month and then calculate how many payments I would need to be making that month. And the round total for each month was about $400. Now bringing in mint and I went to my goals and found my apartment goal that I wanted to get and I started messing with the date to see when a good time to move in was, figuring out how much I would need to save each month in order to move into it that month. And I figured out it was around September. So for my intended, I usually have about $500 for that month that I intend to spend. That I'm, it's, it's, I really hope I don't spend hundred dollars a month, but that is like my kind of base, also my maximum kind of, you know? Cause some months, like for September, I know I'm gonna spend a little bit more cause September is a back to school month. December, I'm not probably gonna get anybody any gifts this year or next. So if you were expecting a gift from me, you're sadly mistaken. But yeah, September is really the only month that I'm probably looking at that's gonna be a little bit more expensive due to school. And then I just went through my calendar and I went through my spreadsheet and I kind of checked and balanced both of them, make sure when those payments are coming up for like, you know, the Verizon and Amazon when those payments come up and then put them in my spreadsheet. Um, so, so my goal for this whole budget thing is to be able to keep this until I can move into my apartment because after that I'm going to have to make a new, um, budgeting system because I'll have new bills I have to pay. Um, so I want to move into my apartment by September of 2020. I'll be 19. <laughs> I'll be old. No, I'll be 20. Oh my gosh. I'll be 20 years old. I got uncomfortable for a second. <laughs> Ew. Oh no, I'll be 20 years old. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cry. But yeah, that is really it for this video, guys. That is my financial goals for the upcoming few months, and hopefully. I'll be able to get that apartment because I know I only need 20,000 in order to just move out and just be comfortable for a few months and not have to worry about money. That's like my cushion, like 20,000 is like a good cushion to have when you move out of a house. And then after that, it's just working hard, making sure I can go to work every day. And then hopefully by that time, I'll find like an either another job because I'm probably going to get a job at my grocery store because they're hiring in the bakery. I could work there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is probably it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy and got a lot of information out of that. If you guys have any tips or tricks for how you save money, leave those down in the comments down below because I would really like those and I guarantee you, I've been watching this video would really like some advice on money. Um, but if you guys also have any other questions for me, leave those down below too. Um, you can also DM me on Instagram if I don't answer here immediately. My Instagram is at Jamari Giovanni, so you guys can message me there. Um, I also have a Twitter that I'm not really on that much, but I do go on it. So if you guys message me on there, I'll see it there too. And then my vlog channel. My vlog channel is the last thing you can find me on. That will always be there. It's at Jamari Giovanni Vlogs pretty easily. If you want to find me on anything, it's going to be at Jamari Giovanni. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button so you guys can join the little family that I'm creating. Um, and then comment down below something other that you want to see. Not, it doesn't have to be pronounced related. Like I know I'm going to make some cooking videos soon. If you guys want to go see those, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell button that way you guys can make sure that you guys don't miss a video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I love you so much. Bye.